Hi friends, I'm Taylor, welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna be doing something out of my comfort zone, per usual, and that is eating like a vegan. Today we're going plant-based, and we're not eating just like any old plant-based girl. We're eating like Francesca Farrago from the one and only Netflix original, Too Hot to Handle. I sound like I'm promoting the show, like I'm the radio commentator on the show, whatever. I used to be kind of plant-based a few years ago, and I really, really enjoyed it, and it's been something that I've been really thinking about a lot lately. If I've been wanting to change my diet up, if it's something that I think I should do full-time, so I'm the grocery store because I need to pick up some yummy goodies because I have a full list of things that I am so excited to make today and this is gonna be so much fun. Also, I am so enthralled with Francesca. If you do not already know who she is, she's the star, I'm just gonna call her the star, of the new Netflix show, Too Hot to Handle, which is basically where they send a whole bunch of hot singles on a island retreat, and they basically have to abstain from touching themselves or doing things with others for a full month, and then at the end, they win a cash prize. But basically, she carried the whole show on her back. She was absolutely phenomenal. And I kid you not, when I found her, on Instagram before the show, I think she had maybe around 400,000 followers. She has 3 million right now. <laughs> this girl gained 2 million followers in the past three days. I don't even understand. So I am so excited to put myself in Francesca's shoes, to throw on her little plant-based hats, and I just know I'm gonna like it. I know it's gonna be a really great day. Also, last night I tried to paint my nails, and you know when you think you've painted them and then they look dry, and you kind of touch them and they feel dry, and then you wake up the next morning, and um, yeah, I have my pillow stained on my nails. They're absolutely terrible. It looks like I put them in cement, so. That's that on trying to take care of myself in quarantine. Uh, Anyways, I need to go into the store right now, and goodness, I just miss the days when I could take you in with me. We could shop the aisles together. We could look at the produce and, and figure out what kind of eggs we were gonna buy that day, but let's just have a moment of silence for those times. Go in the store, you'd be with me, and, and I'd be with you, and let's just, let's just have a moment of peace, please. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm absolutely not looking forward to this line that I'm going to have to wait in that is crawling around the store. Uh, quarantines. Quarantine teens. Okay, I just got back from Trader Joe's. I wanna show you everything that I got, but I feel like that would just kind of spoil the rest of this video. And I'm so excited for each of these meals. I'm starving. I think it's noon. No, it's 1.30. So it's kind of late and I really want to eat. So let's get going. I got some rice cakes because basically I'm going to imitate this meal that Francesca has made a few times. It's really not that innovative, but basically I'm just going to take some rice cakes, put some vegan cream cheese on top, which the lady at the cash register warned me that this has seaweed in it. Um, so we'll see how great my breath smells after eating this. And then I'm going to add some avocado. Where's my avocado? And then I'm going to add some tomatoes and finish it off with the one and only everything but the bagel seasoning. I know that this is not a new seasoning, but it is still new and fond in my heart. You know, after a while, you kind of get bored of having the same thing over and over again, or at least I do, maybe that's just me. But this, you never get bored of. Truthfully, at this moment, I could make myself anything and I would enjoy it because I am so hungry. Oh God. Oh no. I think it's basically like locks. Oh, <laughs> okay, wait, what's in it? Cashews, coconut cream, seaweed, vegetable juice for color. Okay, so maybe it just looks like lox, but honestly, I'm hoping it just doesn't taste like it. Okay, I promise it actually has a salmon-y color in person. I'm not that crazy. I don't really like lox. I don't truly know if I've ever had it on a bagel because the thought of eating like salmon in the morning just does not sit well with me. But maybe this is better than I'm giving it credit for. Never judge a cream cheese by its color. We'll just make that a new phrase. Ooh, wait. I really do like real cream cheese. I think it's delicious, but I never like too much of it. I like to just do the thinnest layer. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna smother this beautiful rice cake in avocado avocado if you do eat dairy and you are interested they do have an everything but the bagel seasoned cream treat they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine and you seasoned cream cheese you know if filming youtube videos has taught me anything it's that i truly cannot speak properly i catch myself talking terribly all of the time and then i just go into these accents that are terrible oh my I cannot even tell you how excited I am to eat this. Wow. Obviously this is my channel, so this is not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but if you wanted to watch good cooking, then you could have turned on MasterChef. 
but I'm so excited to eat this. I think I just spilled. I'm gonna eat this off camera because eating rice cakes, especially with all this on top, is absolutely so unattractive. I'm gonna save your eyes. Just as an update, I'm still not showing you. I'm still not showing you me eating, but it's delicious, 10 out of 10. The Loxy cream cheese is in fact pretty seaweedy, as the kind lady informed me, so spot on. Also, I decided to make myself this matcha latte, and oh my golly, it looks so good. They have those packets of matcha at Trader Joe's, and I love it because it's obviously so convenient. I don't really know how else I would otherwise get myself matcha, and especially matcha that doesn't have sugar in it, because every matcha has sugar in it. Why? Why do they do that to us? It's supposed to be green tea. I'm confused. So anyways, I decided to make this little matcha drink and I threw in some cashew, almond, and macadamia nut milk and some turmeric, turmeric, however you want to pronounce it. And it's yummy. Also, I need to show you our cute little dog basket. Ah, look how stinking cute is this? Okay, judging by Francesca's amazing body, I'm going to assume that she works out quite often. So I'm going to go for a run right now. I really couldn't find much information on what she does for a workout. It is so echoey in here. Hello? Hello? Whatever. I really couldn't find much about what she actually does for a workout routine. I'm assuming because she is such a tiny little thing that maybe she's a cardio bunny. Who knows, just an assumption. I did forget to mention there also is one really quick scene in Too Hot to Handle where I think she's doing hip thrusts, but I think that's all we see of her workout routine. So I also did incorporate these later on. And it also looked like she did a little ab circuit. So I'll do that afterwards. Right now I'm just gonna go run outside, yes outside, not on the treadmill. They ask you how you are and you just and it's gonna be really fun. Also too bad Francesca only has like the cutest workout sets and I'm in blue on blue. Blue on blue. <laughs> Hello, it is me on the run, outside, not on the treadmill. And I'm not hating it. I'm trying to take a slow pace because a lot of you recommended that to me. Can I even see myself? I don't know. But I'm having a good time. And I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Okay, goodbye. I think I'm becoming far too comfortable with looking this bad on camera. I figured I would make myself a smoothie because I see Francesca have these quite often. And I also just love smoothies. I was kind of hoping that I could make this smoothie and then quickly afterwards make the lunch. I was just about to spoil it. Oh my gosh. Now I was just looking at the ingredients though and she puts a lot in this smoothie so I'm kind of wondering if it's just gonna fill me up. But I've also only eaten those rice cakes the entire day. So I probably need some more food. I'm following this recipe of hers. I'll just throw it on the screen and I pretty much have everything. So I'm pretty proud of myself. The only thing I don't have is the collagen that she threw into the smoothie but I do have collagen vitamins so I'll just eat these instead I guess. She also used water in her smoothie but I just, don't really know how I feel about that. If there's something I'm going to compromise in my smoothie, it's not going to be my milk choice. That's what gives it the good consistency, you know? Bored in a house, bored in a house. I feel like I've been pouring lots of smoothies on my channel lately. <laughs> oh my God, I totally forgot to do my ab workout. Okay, hold on, I gotta go. <laughs> this is so me. <laughs> you would go to the kitchen and try and make a smoothie and get out of your little workout but no, today we are eating like, and exercising like, and trying to look like beautiful Francesca, so get your bum back to the workout. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot to do all of this after, oh, I'm watching Love Island, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot to do all of this when I was making my smoothie. I got back from the run and I was just like, smoothie time, and then all of a sudden I was drinking the smoothie and not working out, which I guess is just typical of me wanting to eat instead of work out. But here we are, a sweaty mess, again, far too comfortable on camera. I actually didn't expect for all the meals that I was going to be making today to be so filling. Like I'm not that full, even though I've gone on a run and in a live workout and an ab workout. So I probably should eat even though I'm not that hungry. I was originally planning on having a pesto pasta for lunch, which still sounds so amazing, but when I said lunch, I really meant like four o'clock because of how late I'm waking up, but now it's like 6.30. So really this is just dinner. So now I'm thinking I should have a small little bit of pasta with my dinner option, and then we'll just have a grand dinner and still have room for dessert because Francesca goes hard in the paint with dessert. Also, I need to shower because I'm disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume 
in this bus is astronomical. Also, today I honestly realized how great Trader Joe's is for purchasing vegan and vegetarian options. Ugh. Honestly, it's probably one of the best grocery stores and they make it so easy for you to find every single variety of every single cheese you ever thought existed in both dairy and non-dairy forms. I just think it's pretty remarkable. And honestly, if there was even any other reason to like Trader Joe's more, here it is. This is quite the um, look, but what do you expect? Seriously? What do you expect? It's moving. I always struggle with what to do with my hair after a workout because obviously I don't want to wash it every single day, but at the same time, like I kind of got sweaty, but then I kind of a little bit like get it wet in the shower so that I'm not just like sitting with a sweaty scalp, but I don't know what to do. I am craving pesto pasta right now. Like, doesn't that just sound like the best thing ever? Is there a better sauce than pesto? I really don't think there is. I don't know why I'm just rambling too well today, but I'm kind of just venting out all of my feelings and it kind of feels therapeutic, if you will. And now what am I supposed to do with this hair? Like, I can't. Maybe I need to whip out a headband again. Okay, honestly, I know what you're thinking. Taylor, you just talked about how you don't really look good in headbands. And you know what? You're exactly right. But sometimes we just don't know what to do with our hair. And sometimes you just have to throw it back and hope it works out. Throw it back. Throw it back. <laughs> throw it back. I am not going to humiliate myself. No, thank you. I have watched every throw it back tutorial on TikTok and I cannot get it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my curvature. I don't know if it's my spine. I cannot do it. So truly, if you think you have this foolproof method that is going to make me, that is actually going to 100% your money back guarantee that I get to be able to throw it back, send it my way. Send it my way and I will put it to the test. classic Taylor move. Okay, people ask you what your go-to dance move is, this is mine. And also, it can't be yours. You might as well perfect it. You might as well show it off at your next big party that you're gonna have after quarantine. You might as well perfect it, okay? So you basically start right here, and then you kind of just go into this flow motion, and then you have to get kind of fast, and you go opposite, front and back, front and back, front and back. And then people are so appalled by your dance moves, they just have to stop and stare. It's really fun. Okay, so I'm not about to show you me boiling pasta and burning down my kitchen once again, but I do wanna show you what I'm trying to cook. And hopefully it turns out well because this is about to be the coolest, the best plant-based meal you ever seen. Basically, I'm just boiling some water right now and I'm going to put in some pasta and then add this delicious pesto on top, which is probably the highlight of the meal. And then I'm going to make some tofu which is going to be crazy delicious, hopefully. I'm gonna marinate it with some coconut aminos, which I hopefully will be really good. And then also this Japanese seasoning. I just got this today and it looks incredible. And Japanese is one of my favorite cuisines, so hopefully this will be delicious. And then I'm gonna make some kale, which is going to be kind of the most adventurous of them all. And I'm gonna put it in here with some almonds and a little bit of lemon. Um, I don't know if I have faith in myself, but I'm just really hoping this turns out well. by myself. Key is going to be the real taste test if this actually tastes good, so we'll really see in a second, but I am so proud of myself. And I didn't even follow a recipe. I just threw this all together. New vegan queen coming at ya. Okay, Keith, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being best for Taylor, what do we think overall? A six or a seven. <laughs> okay, you know what? I can kind of understand that because he just told me that he doesn't like that seaweed flavoring that is literally the base of the tofu. So I get it, I understand it, but I kind of made you like kale. I like and that, this kale. He likes this kale. And to me, that's a success. I will take a six or a seven 
on a Taylor scale, which in normal people world is like a two. <laughs> Right, so after Keith just crushed my soul by calling my meal a six out of 10, I figured I need to wallow in my sorrows the only way I know how with some ice cream. V and of course. Honestly, it seems like Francesca has a really big sweet tooth because she's always posting about delicious vegan desserts on her Instagram. It made me so hungry. And you know, I'm not exactly talented enough to just whip up like a rhubarb pie, but honestly, I really wanted to. So instead I'm making an ice cream sundae. Now, you may be questioning my choice of plain vanilla, but I have to assure you that this was honestly one of the best choices. And I'm not a sorbet kind of girl, so I knew that I was really gonna be at least satisfied, if not very happy with vanilla. And then I figured I could just crumple up some Oreos and spread these on top because a well-known fact, or maybe not so well-known, is that Oreos are vegan. Finishing it off with some coconut whipped cream. Ooh, baby. You know, honestly, this was really fun and I did enjoy trying out a plant-based diet. But one thing I really did learn today was that you can have a plant-based diet, but that doesn't necessarily equate to health. And I actually think that's something that a lot of people misunderstand. I mean, for instance, this ice cream, I think has maybe 30 grams of added sugar. And that's just in one serving. Like, I don't even actually wanna think about that because that's so bad. And granted, most ice creams have added sugar, so maybe that's kind of a bad example. But I do think when you're at the grocery store and you're looking for vegan things on the shelves, they proclaim it as vegan or it's declared vegan, even like my kombucha. And then I look at it and sugar is still vegan. You know what I mean? So I think truly a plant-based diet is a plant-based diet. You're having lots of vegetables, maybe you're having lots of fruits or lentils or whatever it is that you can get all of your macro and your micronutrients in for the day. I also did notice that a lot of my diet for the duration of the day was carbohydrates focused, which doesn't mean I'm eating a bunch of pasta or bread, it just means that you're having lots of fruits, you're having lots of vegetables, those are carbohydrates too. So I think it's important for vegans in general to just monitor you know, your fats and your proteins as well, just to make sure you're having a well-balanced diet. I do think overall, I had such a fun time just coming up with unique recipes, well, following Francesca's unique recipes. I mean, it was a good way to get out of my comfort zone and try something new and follow somebody's diet other than my own. Obviously, I'm no expert from doing this for one single day, but it was really, really fun. And I think Francesca is really cool. And I'm glad that she's getting her little overnight fame because she's so gorgeous. And that show was fascinating. So if you haven't seen it, give it a watch. Or I'll also just link Cody Ko's review down below. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking around with me and watching this video. I hope that you had a great day and I hope that you did something kind for yourself and for maybe somebody else too. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>